As always, you know we keep the most amazing, talented, dopest guests on the show, and today is like no other. Man, we got somebody that got their own business. Man, her food, her her bakeries, man, they be looking good. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I be wanting to go through the screen and just man, grab them, man. I was peeping that gallery. <laughs> I was like, ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, she got her own business called Sweet Blessing Treats. We got Elandria on the show today. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> good, great, great, great. How's your uh, How's your Sunday treating you? It's going well. It's going well. I wish it wasn't raining, but for the most part, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I was I was checking the weather out the other day. It looked like it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days pretty much mm-hmm. yep. that's why people <laughs> Has, need us to bring our treats get them delivered yes. to their house so they can stay that's in that's a fact because <laughs> y'all are y'all are mobile now right right well we not are. now but mobile in general yeah we're strictly mobile um we the del- people order online from us and then we just deliver our treats to either their home or their business so oh. well let's um let's let you go ahead and just you know just get into a description or just Tell the people, you know, who you are and what your business is and what you all do. All right. Well, my name is Alundry Alliance. Um, I am the owner of Sweet Blessings Treats. We started in last year in the middle of the pandemic. So we decided what was the best way for people to be able to stay home, be contactless, and still enjoy a good baked good or a good treat, right? Right. Um, so that's what birthed Sweet Blessings Treats. And... It's been doing well. It's been doing phenomenally well. We've been embraced by Nashville, Goodlettsville, um, Lebanon, Gallatin, like all over. So we are just mm-hmm. so thankful for our customers. Well, what um, what got you? I mean, because you know, with you being the head, I would assume that you have a pretty big love for baking and just you know doing sweets in general. So, what got you into that? Um. Well. As everyone experienced when COVID first happened, um, my hours Mm -hmm. at work got drastically cut. Um, Yeah. So we went from 36 hours a week to an amazing whopping number of eight hours a week. Oh, wow. wow. (laughs) (laughs) So um, I always baked for my kids. So Mm -hmm. I was just in a mood one day just to be baking something in the kitchen and, you know, trying out some things and just those comfort foods, you know, like chest squares and brownies and things like that. And um, a couple of my friends were like, hey, why don't you sell that? Why don't you, you know, start offering it to people? And I was like, "Okay, you know, we'll take it a shot. And Mm -hmm. um, we started just on Facebook, just letting people know that we that I had treats to sell. And it actually did a lot better than I thought. I wasn't looking to honestly start a business. Um, mm-hmm. But when God has a plan, um, <laughs> his, outrank, his, <laughs> his definitely outranks yours. So mm-hmm. um, that's how we started. That's how Sweet Blessings Treats came into play. Cool. All right. So um, you've been you've been selling out, though, Every like everywhere you go. Like, I know I've been seeing you um, doing events and stuff. You be selling out. How's that yeah. feeling? Uh, it's good it's good i love when people try our stuff Mm -hmm. and they love it and it catches them off guard Mm because you know they're looking like oh yeah there goes the table with some you know some baked goods Mm -hmm. right and we Mm -hmm. always have free samples and so then they Mm -hmm. try it and they just stop and it's (laughs) that face and they're like oh my gosh that is so good and that just like does our heart really good because that's our goal is to make people happy with our treats um Mm -hmm. right so we have definitely been selling out at every event that we have been doing these past couple of months. Yeah. Amazing. So what? So what happened? So like you just got you just got to shut down, disappoint all the people that was going to come <laughs> come through afterwards. <laughs> well, the best thing is usually it happens really towards the end. Mm, okay. So okay. the crowds have kind of slowed down by then, you know. So we're we're good. It's not that we have to turn too many people away. Now it may be my lemonade definitely is one of the things that sells out. We do fresh squeezed yeah, strawberry good. lemonade, and wow. we also do blueberry too. And we don't use frozen fruit, so it catches people off guard because they're looking for that syrup mm. to be in it, you know. Mm. And so yeah. we sell out of that, and then people are like, "But you don't have no more." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, nah, but you can order online. Right. though. we got you." Right. <laughs> so yeah. So where'd you uh where'd you get the name from? Um, you know, I can only say that came from God. 
Um, and the meaning behind our name is that we want to, so our tagline is turn your treat into a blessing. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we say that is because a portion of every sale that we do, we give back to a charity. This is part of what our business will be. So Mm -hmm. since the beginning of when our business started, we've given back to Second Harvest Food Bank. Mm -hmm. So since May of 2020, we've been able to donate over 6,000 meals to them. Wow. Um, So, and we like that concept because we like the fact that people get to buy a treat, but they also get to feed someone else in the same manner. Yeah, um, yeah. You know? And I mean, it's it's um. I think that that's dope too because if you think about like, I think about, I know oddly enough, like Panda Express for example, like Panda Express. They every time you go there, they have you donate or they ask you if you want to donate, but mm-hmm. they they add extra on to what you've already purchased in order to <laughs> right. do that. Mm-hmm. As opposed to you know, I think that it's dope. Like in your aspect is. I'm paying the same regular price that I would normally pay for this, but some of my money in it, it looks good on your end because it's saying you aren't making as much as you normally would because you're donating some of that. Yes. So I think that that's, that's super dope. Well, thank you. Thank you. We definitely want to give all glory to God. Mm-hmm. Um, he is the reason for this business doing as well as it's doing. I could not do this without him. Let me tell you. Um, yeah. So I've got to give back. And so we want to, you know, right now it's Second Harvest Food Bank, but we're always asking for people to give us charities that they want us to also be able to give back to. Because Mm -hmm. we know there's other people, different types that are in need, especially right now with the pandemic going on. People need clothing. People need shoes. People need jobs, Mm -hmm. you know. So if we can help with our treats, definitely we want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Is this um is this something you're doing full time right now or just um is it kind of going balancing along with your other job as well? Well, right now it's not full time. Um mm-hmm. I feel it quickly moving to full time. Yeah, um, <laughs> I can I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> um we just purchased purchased a food trailer um and picked it up a couple of weeks ago. So mm-hmm. we plan on being out in the streets, being around, being at different events definitely and so I feel like that's gonna take on definitely more of our time. Um, yeah, for sure. We're also looking to hire. So um, mm-hmm. anybody that is going to culinary school right now that is looking to intern, we definitely want them on our team. Um, wow. That way they can get credit back for their class, but then they can also get some hands-on experience with us. Um, so if any of your listeners out there want to do this or want to get in the kitchen with us we are all for it like we would love to have you on our team perfect yeah Yeah. and y'all um if y'all are looking for that um i'm gonna repost it uh in a story on our uh on our ig page um so it'll be on my page as well as the pies page so make sure y'all go and check that out for sure yeah she's not gonna say it but you know unemployment is gone (laughs) so there's no excuses it's out of there it's out of there there's jobs out here now Ain't no excuses. <laughs> yes. Ain't no excuses. Um, but uh, you say you started. So you started in the pandemic. How was that, though? Like, <laughs> You know what? It was actually good, mm-hmm. you know, because so I felt like in my past job experiences that mm-hmm. it led me up to this. So okay. I'm like everybody else probably in Nashville who's done Uber and Lyft and right. Grubhub and, mm-hmm. you know, all those. And so with that, that helped me to mold this business because I didn't need a storefront. Right. We couldn't go anywhere. Everything was shut down. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to create something where people could still get our baked goods with not having to get out of the house or, you know, um, feel like, especially with people being so scared because COVID was so new then. Right. And yeah. we were fine with, like, hey, we'll leave it on your porch. I always called when we we're on our way. Mm-hmm. Um, they could pay through our website or they could pay, you know, through our other means. And it worked out great. So now with everything, like, kind of having that same feel where we may go back to a shutdown possibly mm-hmm. my business is not affected because that's yeah. how we started right. so yeah. you know right. and that's that's you need to have like a like a business that it's you know it still thrives even when people can't get out and get to it like mm-hmm. i think that covid has made a lot of people especially business owners or people who are involved in the business or whatever they have to you know people have to get creative you have to figure out how to be able to bring that product to the people 
So I think that that's, you know, a really good thing that you're doing. And I'm glad that you guys are, you know, thinking of ways to be to be able to survive and to grow even in this time. Definitely. Yeah, we always want to be that unique company. We don't want to be your typical um, bakery. That's why we offer like comfort food treats and we mm-hmm. offer, you mm-hmm. know, things that normal bakeries don't have. I don't have a I yeah. don't know of a bakery that has chess squares. I mean, mm-hmm. you remember that your grandmama used to make them back in the mm-hmm. kitchen. Hey, yeah, <laughs> hey, some, some good yeah. chess squares. <laughs> you, don't, you can't beat that. Okay. Yes, and then we're unique in the fact that we do all different types of flavors too. So we do original, which everybody's had, right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. we do red velvet, chocolate, strawberry, and mm-hmm. lemon. Um, wow. So we offer just a unique twist on your common baked goods. You know, yeah, they got me heading over to the website now. <laughs> right. <He's> looking like, <laughs> yeah, I, I see this other day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh no, I say Monday through Saturday. They close today. Yeah, we close <laughs> today. You know, but it's cool. Tomorrow we 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 back in there. Right. Yes, back in there. We can get you covered. Um, our most um famous thing right now is our cake jars. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah, having it your good. own little individual cake in the jar for you to eat some now and save some for later. Right. Oh I, yeah. Hell, it's not gonna yeah, happen. You're not gonna save none for later. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. I might y'all might see my face tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I gotta ask you though, because you know how DoorDash and them, you know, you buy some, it's like ten dollars, and then at the end of the day, it's like fifty dollars. <laughs> After you uh, order the whole thing, y'all, how much do y'all charge a lot of fees to deliver? So, the only thing we do is charge a delivery fee, and mm-hmm. it's based on how far out you are. Okay. So, my regular Davidson County, you know, it's yeah. just the basic $5. Okay. You know, um, we go out further when we get out to like Mount Juliet, Smyrna, mm-hmm. um, Bellevue. Just a couple of dollars more. Right. We go to Mount yeah. Juliet. We go to <laughs> Lebanon, or we go to Franklin, or we go to Gallatin. Those way out places. Mm-hmm. Just ten dollars. So you're not paying right. a whole lot. I'm spending more of that in gas. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if yeah. it's if it's something that you really want, yeah, you know, because I mean, you're gonna pay Uber or Uber Eats or <laughs> whatever that same amount. So you yeah. know, why not? You gonna pay a delivery fee? You gonna play a service fee? Right. Yeah, you, you gonna pay, pay service like tax. Then you got a tip. <laughs> then you got a yeah. tip. And then, then you tip. got a tip. <laughs> right, right. So we try to make it to where it's not gonna break your pocket. You know, you're gonna get a good quality dessert, but you also can, like I said, you can stay at home. We can even meet you. So we have customers also that we meet, and we do the free pickup. So that's not a problem. And then we're also um, one of our locations is actually right up the road. Um, up here at Hunter Station. Oh, okay. Um, okay. We, we we use that kitchen up there, so that's another one of our pickup locations. Oh, okay. But that's by appointment mm-hmm. only. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cause them them fees be crazy, bro. Yes. I was like, Damn. <laughs> I was like, Psh. And then they take like two hours just to deliver it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. We're gonna communicate with you. Right. We're gonna let you know. Hey, so we're gonna do a confirmation. Let mm-hmm. you know we're confirming that your order's being delivered today we should arrive to you and we give you a time frame okay. let you know if that's okay or not or you know if it needs to be different it needs to be different but we can adjust okay definitely. cool uh can you got anything else uh no nah. okay uh one more question before we go into music um how did the dollar city co- uh, collaboration happen um you know i just went <laughs> in there one day and mm-hmm. i saw there was a black owned company love that it's a black owned dollar dollar store we don't have any of those right. here right mm-hmm. And approached the owner and asked him, hey, can we think we can do something where we can have the treats and try them out in here? And he was for it. And it's been doing amazing in Dollar City. That's dope. Um, so the Brawley Parkway location has our cake jars and our lemonades there. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. The Antioch location within the next week or two, we will have also mm-hmm. our lemonades in that store. And we're coming out with a few other drinks, too. All right. Okay. Oh. All, mm-hmm. right. All right, man. Um. And Q, do you got a song? You got a song?